Hi, we're here today with Jim, who is our UX Hello. UI designer, and he's going to be kind of talking through who he is, um, what he does here at MadeSafe, um, and how and why UX and UI is so important to the network. So, hi, how are hi. you? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> do you want you? to tell us a little bit about who you are, a bit about your background, and what you do yeah, here at sure. MadeSafe? Yeah, I'm Jim Collinson. I'm a user experience designer, or sometimes termed UX UI designer mm -hmm. um, at MadeSafe. So, I'm um, my background really is actually in the music industry. Oh. Um, so maybe about a career started sort of 15, 16 years ago. Mm -hmm. I was running record labels and artist management companies. Um, and a lot of that involves creating digital products and yeah. physical products mm -hmm. to uh, represent artists, uh, music. Um, I kind of from there, I started working with bigger labels and I helped um, start one of the, the first high resolution music download services. Oh, cool. That. Yeah. Um, and then from there, working mm -hmm. on network music systems mm -hmm. um, in terms of design, yeah. user experience design for that. Um, and then it was maybe a couple of years ago, I ended up doing a talk at a, an arts conference um, about the state of the industry, all the issues it has, um, and a bit about the future. Mm -hmm. um, and at the time, one of the problems the music industry still has is uh, kind of companies trying to monopolize supply chains yeah. through yeah. the use of encryption. Um, and, I mean, the music industry really is just a, a whole layer upon layer of middlemen between the artist and, yeah. and the, uh, the audience. Mm -hmm. So we kind of were discussing what we could do about that. Yeah. Uh, and it seemed clear that the, one of the solutions was decentralization. So that kind of led me to yeah. help to try and build that solution and look for that solution, which led me to the safe network. And then kind of realizing that the, the kind of prize of that was much bigger. Yeah. Um, because the internet itself has. I mean, it's the most um, amazing direct publishing machine that yeah. the world has ever created, mm -hmm. but um, somehow we've ended up with all these middlemen in there yeah. kind of sucking out the value. So yeah. um, I'm delighted to be involved helping to design the amazing. future of the internet. One interesting way into it yeah. as well. It's quite an unusual written, so um, and from a completely different angle as well. Yeah. So that's really, really interesting. So what does like a typical day, week look like for you here? Uh, well... Most of the time, I mean, to, to explain what user experience uh -huh. designer actually does, or sometimes termed mm -hmm. UX UI designer, as I say, which is yeah. slightly misleading. Yeah. One of these acronyms that uh -huh. tech companies love to, <laughs> to put out there. Um, but really, it's, it's even the term user experience designer yeah. is slightly misleading because you can't design a user experience. All you can do is design solutions that try and meet people's needs yeah. and hopefully that improves their experience. Yeah. Um, so really, user experience design encompasses everything from uh, from marketing, mm -hmm. or the language that people use, the, the way they understand, and yeah. mental models of how they interact with computers, yeah. to then more detailed work on uh, user interface designs, yeah. where buttons go, what they look like, yeah. how you sequence events yeah. to help people through a process, yeah. um, and then the look and feel of a product as well. So it's really like product design, really, yeah. but um, yeah. day to day. At MadeSafe, it's working on everything from, from websites to yeah. digital products to the structure of how the networks can interact with people's data and how people understand that. So yeah. um, day to day, the, the life of user experience design is very varied yeah. and very interesting. So. It's, it's quite interesting how you look at it from a kind of product design angle as well. It's Because um, yeah. I think from, a, from someone who doesn't know a huge amount about UX and UI, yeah. it does feel quite like interface focused, but yeah. actually looking at more a product, more of a kind of dimensional view is quite interesting as well absolutely like the the user interface is just one layer yeah. in a big stack that makes up yeah. the entire experience that someone has uh -huh. when they, they interact with um, a product or a computer yeah. or their data yeah. or how they understand it yeah. so um, as designers we have to try and get an insight into what how people understand those things yeah. all these different layers and then produce something that helps them interact yeah. with, the, with the computer better or yeah. interact with the data or complete the task they want to do, do yeah. that thing, yeah. but, um, and, and then the computer gets out of the way, hopefully. Yeah. So, Amazing, perfect. Yeah. And then, um, what, um, how do you, so UX and UI is a lot of, a lot of testing, so how do, you, how do you do any testing at the moment, or what is your kind of plan to do testing? Well, yeah, we actually um, test, we basically come up with a design hypothesis yeah. every mm -hmm. week. That could be from a very small thing to a, yeah. a larger flow mm -hmm. um, of a product, and we test it every week on with real people oh every week um, every week wow. yeah uh -huh. uh, so 
th th this is the only way you can do it is yeah. kind of centering the design process around people mm -hmm. and understanding what their needs are and then have we designed something that has met those needs and the only way you can do it is by meeting with people yeah. chatting to them getting them to use something in front yeah. of you observing how they interact with the computer yeah. um, and then improving it for the next week yeah. so yeah. that's the kind of frequency we try and hit is is weekly mm -hmm. Uh, as, as we build out this like a really quite complicated yeah. product into something that's hopefully simple to understand yeah. um, and it's really going to be super important to stuff with the, with the safety network because I think a lot of people's mental models will almost be flipped upside down yeah. the way they understand currently understand how they interact with their own information and their mm -hmm. own data it's kind of going to change quite a lot with the safety network so yeah. it's really important that we understand how they currently understand things and we can build things to, to meet those needs and help them kind of form these new mental models or help fit into the way they understand yeah. their interaction with their data. Yeah, I just think it's such an important part of the building blocks of the network. So um, it's been wonderful talking to you. Thank you so much. Um, cool. Any questions, please um, drop them below the video or pop them into the forum. And um, I don't think this will be the last of Jim that we'll have on camera. <laughs> So thank you very much. Thank You're you. You're welcome. <laughs>